Our scripture reading today is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, concerning the wise men. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented their gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I love Christmas, for it reminds me of the Saviour's birth. That's why the Lord Jesus came. Many people believe and remember his birth, but very few remember the reason why he came. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Those Old Testament prophets had prophesied that Christ the Messiah, the Son, should come into the world. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. The Virgin Mary had no relationship with Joseph, who she was espoused to, until after the birth of the Lord Jesus. A virgin conceived by the Holy Spirit. The angel in Luke chapter 1 verse 35 said, That Holy One that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. God manifest in flesh. These wise men came from the east to worship him and bring their gifts. They indeed were wise men seeking the Lord. If you have never sought the Lord as your own and personal saviour, you need to be wise too, and it's time you did seek the Lord. The scriptures tell us that these wise men, they fell down and worshipped him. They didn't worship anyone else, only him. They didn't worship animals or Joseph or Mary. They worshipped him. We see the gifts that they brought, gold, This would speak of the Lord's deity, God manifest in flesh, the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Gold would speak of his purity, pure gold. The frankincense used, it was a fragrance to offer up to God. The Lord Jesus, his life was as frankincense, always doing those things that pleased the Father. God could open heaven and say, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. God could never say that about anyone else. Even great men and women we read about in the Bible all had their failures. But the Lord Jesus, he never failed in life or in death. Because he was sinless, holy, harmless, undefiled and separate from sinners. The myrrh would speak of his death. And what a death it was, crucifixion brought in by the Romans to punish their victims. But on this occasion, it was God's punishment upon his son for your sins and mine. A sacrifice, a lamb slain, blood shed to atone for sins, sins that were not his own. And we can say today, my sins. The hymn writer penned these words, there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. These wise men brought gifts and God's salvation is a free gift. You don't work for gifts, you accept them. It costs someone else the price, but you receive it as a free gift. God offers you today this free gift of salvation. Why not take it and thank the giver? May the Lord bless his word today to all our hearts for his name's sake. Amen.